All right, guys, welcome back to our second video on balancing equations. All right, um, in this equation, we're going to try to uh, show you how to balance it by hand and, uh, or I guess in this case, balance it by mouse, but uh, how to balance it um, by hand and how to use a TI-83 calculator to uh, assist in that as well. So two different ways. All right, guys, let's go ahead and get started. All right here we need to make sure that we're able to count the correct number of atoms. Now remember every balanced equation is balanced according to atoms. Okay, So don't ever fall for the trick about molecules and things like that. They're balanced by atoms. Alright, here uh, we have aluminum on the left. Remember left is to the left side of the arrow. And on the right we have one. So so far the aluminums are balanced. AL and AL, one apiece. Now, on the iron here, there's three irons, but over here, there's only one. So I need a three here. Okay? Uh, on the nitrogen, I've got two here, but I need two here, because I've only got a one, one N. I've got one AL and one N. So when I put the two here, I do get the two nitrogens I need, because two times N is two N. Okay? And I got two here, but the problem is, I now have two ALs. So to help, uh, balance this equation I gotta put a 2 here. Okay, And right here since there's a blank I'm just gonna put a 1. And if you notice I'm now balanced. Two aluminums, two aluminums, uh, three irons because 1 times 3 is 3 irons and here 3 irons and 2 nitrogens. 1 times 2 is 2 nitrogens and 2 times this 1 in here is 2 nitrogens. So we're balanced. Now as far as uh, setting this up on a, a calculator getting it ready to balance uh, like I said just draw vertical lines wherever you see uh, arrows and plus signs and then uh, at the end make sure you also draw uh, lines that way you are basically boxing this in now when you do these make sure that you uh, are going to balance these by either uh, polyatomic ions or by the individual atoms themselves, basically the elements is what we're saying. Meaning when I run my list here I'm going to say that this is AL and then after I do that one I'm going to say that the next one is FE and then the next one is of course, let me run this all the way down through here, the next one will be nitrogen and notice I have three uh, unique atoms. Uh, listed here on the side and I've got four columns and you can solve uh, a three by four and you can solve a four by four. The only things that you cannot solve is if the front one is larger. I mean if you've got more rows than columns. If that's the case then you probably have some polyatomic ions that you need to look at look at, at grouping. So because TI-83 calculators cannot solve those but the 89's and the uh, 92's are able to do that. All right, so let's go ahead and uh, do this. So we know this is the answer up here. So let's pretend that uh, we did not know these numbers, that these were the numbers that were balanced, and we are so uh, extremely lazy that we don't want to sit here and try to balance it by hand, that we're going to uh, try to balance it with just a calculator. So what you do is uh, you try to figure out how many ALs you have here. You have one. Well, how many ALs are here, which is aluminum? None. So you put a zero. Here there's one, so we put a one there. And here there's no AL, so you put a zero. Now on to the FE. You ask yourself FEs on every one of these. We have no FEs. We have three FEs. We have uh, no FEs. And here we have one FE. And finally the nitrogen. Mm, we do not have any nitrogen on uh, AL here. We do have two nitrogens here, so I'm going to put a two here. And then here I have one nitrogen, so I'm going to put a one here. And here, zero nitrogens. So we're done with our matrix C's. Now, let's go ahead and get our calculator. Uh, this is TILM. It's a program that I use to uh, run a virtual TI-83 calculator on Linux. It's also available for Windows, so if you need it, go ahead and go get it. All right, uh, matrix, so second matrix. I'm going to edit, and luckily I've done... Uh, one of these before and it's not too bad. Now remember it's rows by columns. I have uh, one, two, three rows. So I type in a three, enter, and I have 
four columns. So I'll type in four. See? One, two, three, four. So four enter. Oh, enter. There we go. Now I entered in the numbers. I've got one, enter, zero, enter, one, enter, zero, enter. I've got zero, enter, three, enter, zero, enter, one, enter. And the last row, zero, enter, two, enter, one, enter, zero, enter. And just to make sure that you entered everything in correctly, go back to the front of the matrix and look. I got a column of one and zeros, one and zeros. Got a column of zero through two, zero through two. Got a column of one oh one. Got a column of one oh one. And the last column I have is zero one zero. And I have everything correct. Now once you have everything punched into your matrices, go ahead and back out of it by hitting second quit. And if you have a regular 83 calculator. Uh, 783 plus it has its own matrix key and I think it's located somewhere right in here or right in here on the regular 83's but anyway uh, it's time to go back into matrix so I'm going to hit second matrix and this time I'm going to choose the math option inside of the matrix and look for RREF it stands for row reduced echelon form so I'm going to pick enter now I'm going to go back to my matrix second matrix and I'm going to pick my A matrix which was my 3 by 4 press enter there it is and I'm, then I want to hit enter again now if you look we get some decimals now remember decimals in the 83 or 83 plus or in any TI calculator pretty much uh, is not a big deal all you have to do is convert it to a fraction so you'll press math button right here and enter enter and it converts it to a fraction now remember in balancing equations we do not want fractions we want whole number ratios meaning we want uh, whole numbers you know zero one two three four but you know we won't have zero but anyway we we need uh basically whole numbers so to get rid of this i need to multiply this by the uh common denominator the common denominator of all these threes is well three so i press three. Oh, oops my bad i need to get that back up there a second enter second enter let's see second <laughs> enter there it is there's the row reduce echelon math enter enter there's my fraction so I'm gonna hit times three and then enter there we go now you see the two okay that two goes here and you see the one they'll go right here that negative two just means it's on the right side of the arrow and the diagonal of three will go there so here comes my two, one, and not negative two, just two, and finally the three of the diagonal. Now let's look at that again and make sure that you see that. Here's the two that went here. Here's the one that went there. The negative two just tells you it's finally on the other side of the arrow. And the diagonal will give you the last number that fits here. Now, so this is how you balance equations by hand. And this is how you balance equations using a TI-83 calculator. Anyway, uh, I hope the video was helpful, and uh, you know, if you need to know anything, just let me know, and I'll be glad to help you out. All right, have a great day.